Raiders, Oakland Raiders, Oakland Raiders, just win, baby, win, baby, win, baby. We are the Oakland Raiders, Oakland Raiders, Oakland Raiders, just win, baby, win, baby, win, baby, win, baby. Don't need no invitation. No. We are that Raider Nation. We rock that black and silver. We make them shake and shiver. We make them reconsider. And we still committed. So if you want a piece of this, you can come and keep What is up, YouTube Raider Nation 2014? And I'm back here with another Madden video. It's been a while, I know. I've been out of it for a bit. But it's just been a rough week and a half or so, so I just hadn't felt like doing anything, including releasing videos. But here we go. 95 overall, Kellen Winslow Sr. Let's check out these stats. He's got 84 speed, 89 agility, 90 awareness, 93 route running, 95 catching, 89 catch and traffic, 94 spectacular catch, and a 65 run block strength. Now, when we check the depth chart stats, nothing really stands out other than I believe his jumping is high and like little things like elusiveness are average stiff arms a little above average just there's not much to this card that's really spectacular about him you see the 92 jumping that's a good stat I think to have so you can get up higher than everybody and another thing I notice on the back of these cards that a lot of people don't really notice too much is the height like I know people see that the heights there but it makes a big difference if you have a tall receiver like say Calvin Johnson or something if you throw it up they're gonna have a better shot of bringing it down if they're taller this is good for Kellen Winslow because he is six foot five and he's able to go and get all those jump balls that are thrown up to him over the defensive back safeties linebackers etc now let's get to the gameplay review of Kellen Winslow let's start with his route running you'll see here on this quick slant he's able to just get off the line so quickly this is due to his release and his route running and look at that stiff arm he just gave that corner a shot and th that's another thing about him he's big he's 6'5 he's not a small tight end so he's able to run guys over give him a good stiff arm or two but yeah back to the route running he's able to just get off the line really quickly due to his release and make crisp clean cuts that's something that's very good you'll see that out of really good receivers and stuff like that but out of tight ends that's just so good to see Basically, when I think of Kellen Winslow, I just think of a really big but really good receiver because he's able to do all the receiving cuts and make all the really good catches that a high-end receiver would do but at the tight end position and be able to throw a blocker too. You see that's a nice clean cut there, able to get him into the end zone. Another thing I do love about Kellen Winslow is his catch and traffic rating. And on his card, I believe the catch and traffic rating was like 89 that's grossly underrated I believe because in this game I don't think he dropped a pass I don't think I had to be worried about him dropping a pass and you'll see later in this gameplay that I do start going to him play after play after play because I know he isn't gonna drop it like you'll see on this slant he gets hit right away doesn't drop it I'll know some players who will drop it after getting hit like that Kellen Winslow is not one of them and Kellen Winslow gets another touchdown there but yeah the catch in traffic there are not very many players in this game I can say are go-to players where I can throw to and in traffic expect them expect them to catch it every single time look at this gets hit just shrugs off a guy because he's so big and the catch in traffic allows him to hold onto the ball like I said there's not very many players in this game I can trust to make every catch when they're about to be hit and you'll see so many times in this gameplay he does get hit and he does make really good catches another thing about Kellen Winslow that's pretty good is even though he does have that 65 blocking stat his blocking is actually a lot better than that he's able to you know ward off the defenders until he doesn't have to anymore and he's he's a very good blocker but he's a very smart blocker because he's not just gonna sit there and just like try and out muscle people like I know it doesn't matter too much in the game but he does give a good enough block so you can get by and we will talk about spectacular catch now this is one of his highest catch stats on the card I believe it's a 95 and you see here look at that spectacular catch that is a really nice catch and another thing that that spectacular catch does help out is him in the fade game so if you're down in the goal line and you need a fade route you could just stick him in at one receiver or two and just throw up a little fade to him and he's got the height the jumping the spectacular catch he's an ultimate fade tight end I don't have a fade in this gameplay but later after using him I did realize that is something he could be good for is the fades and there's another example of that blocking he blocked until he didn't have to and then he just knocked that guy over but Overall, with Kellen Winslow, with all these combined, I'd say I'd give him about an A- minus rating. The only downfall being he is a little pricey, around 40 50 k And you get a guy like Tony Gonzalez, who's a little slower, 
maybe doesn't get the spectacular catches, but does hold on to the ball. So, Calawinzo, in my mind, gets an A-, minus, but he is a very good card, nonetheless. Able to make any catch you throw to him, able to make some spectacular catches, and you see he uses his height there, and his great route running to be able to get the game-winning touchdown. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this play review, if you'd like some more, drop a like on this video, leave a comment, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe for more Madden Ultimate Team videos, also connected franchise and NCAA Ultimate Team videos. And yet again, guys, thanks for watching. See ya. This incredible play is the GMC Never Say Never moment of the game.